What's up survivalists, Jason here. Today I'm going to be showing what I carry when I go out foraging in the wilderness. So the main thing you're probably going to see is this on the side of my leg. This pouch has been with me for probably four years now. This is something that I've made myself and I kind of turned it into my foraging kit. So other than just this, I also have a dump style pouch. This is just another homemade thing that I've done. Just uh, reusing some denim pant leg right there. Some uh, really thin leather. Just made a little dump pouch for foraging or putting whatever I want inside of here. Right next to that, I got my canteen. This canteen's been with me for, I don't know, seven, yeah, seven years. And then my back pocket right here, I have a thin pair of gloves, some nitrile, then I got a bandana. So let's go ahead, go inside of this pouch and see what I carry. So here is the pouch. This is actually my very first big leather project that I've ever done before. So having a little inscription right here, maybe getting lost is the best way to find yourself. And this is all pyrography. So I burned this into the leather, a little leaf, a little campfire, then my initials. And originally, this was supposed to be just a belt pouch, but uh, I made the belt loop specific to my one belt at the time, and then I changed it out, and my new belt didn't fit this. So having this kind of uh, looped in between my belt loops actually uh, pretty worked out really well. So here is the inside. It opens up pretty well when I open it up like that. So first things I have these little uh, reusable and zippered little pouches. A lot of people use these for seeds or wild edibles, stuff like that. And then uh, I like to use this for either taking home seeds or if I have anything that is unsure of, I can bring it home and then I can study it and make sure that it's a specific plant that I'm looking at. Then first book, I have a Charles W. Kane, Wild Edible Plants of Arizona. I am in Northeast Arizona right now, and uh, this book has a lot of the stuff that I already find out here. So really good pictures, illustrations, so definitely if you're in your Arizona, Northern Arizona, definitely recommend looking at this book right here. Next book, Edible Wild Plants by Thomas Elias and Peter Dykeman. I do like this book as well. It's not specific for Arizona. book right there. A, uh, another book is Peterson Field Guide Wildflowers. I want to try to get into more flower type of stuff. Probably get some herbs and stuff like that. But also I could probably put into my garden if I find some good stuff out there and possibly transplant or find the seeds of. And the only thing about this is just that it's kind of drawn rather than actual pictures of it. Then right here I have a little loop that has a little pruning knife. This is a Victorinox pruning knife. I got this for a dollar at a thrift store. So a really nice thing to just cut up little plants if I needed to. Then I have a little pair of pruners, the tiny little pruners. So it's simple little cut and then I could take that piece. So really nice to have some type of cutting tools out here when it comes to foraging. Then finally, Sharpie writing down so that's what I carry on my person when it comes to foraging some wild edibles out here in the wilderness. But one thing I would definitely add to this is some type of mini trowel. I've tested out a couple of them. I have that Walmart one, that really cheap Ozark Trail one, and it's just really flimsy and won't really dig into this type of soil. Then I went ahead and got a like a $20 one like from Fiskars. It's like a bladed one. And when I was using it in the garden, it snapped right in half, the blade from the handle snapped. So leave your recommendations down below of what some really good little digging trials for digging wild edibles out here in the wilderness, especially some really hard ground. So I really appreciate that. And let's go ahead, do some usage for this kit and uh, find some good wild edibles. Right. Immediately walking into here, 
I found some mullein. So this is really nice little herb for respiratory issues. So I like to go here, collect a few leaves, put this inside of tinctures. Some people smoke it. So all you would have to really do is just dry it. It's really easy. It takes like probably a week or so. And you can take a good amount of this and the plant would still be alive afterwards. So don't worry too much, but don't take too much as well. So that is enough. A lot of people actually use it for uh, wiping the bum as well. So nice little find right there. Let's see what else we can find. Well, starting to rain a little bit. I was going to go down to the creek. That's where I usually find a lot of good wild edibles. But it is monsoon season and I don't want to be caught in a flash flood. So rather than trying to uh, risk it a bit, do a little bit of safety out here. Just, it's not really worth it. So uh, tune in the next time. Let me know what you think about this kit and this whole video. I want to thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.